Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we will be transferring the uh, tone's historical data from this tone to this tone. So in order to do so we um, do need to do a few little things on this tone and we actually do not need to do something on this tone. Yeah, you do need to enable um, the tone's features. Those need to be enabled in order to generate the graphs but we'll be just transferring the data from this one to this one and we actually need to do uh, something on this one so I suggest that we power them both up uh, I also suggest that since they are side by side we can do a little uh, speed test uh, and speed comparison between the two this one should be much quicker than this one so let's turn them on at the same time 3, 2, 1 And let's see who wins. I think these are visible on the camera. Unless they were. Now they aren't anymore. So the tone has a head start, tone 2. Yeah, well, well, but do keep in mind that this stone hasn't got any data on it. I'm not sure how that affects the performance of this stone, but this is completely empty and hasn't got any historical data on uh, on the system. So. so I've switched my microphones again because last time I was using the little clip on mics and a lot of ambient noise was picked up so I'm not sure how it um, actually sounds on the video because I still need to edit that video uh, I will do some uh, background noise removal trickery but yeah again I'm not sure how the, the video will sound so I'm using my regular microphone and that just works fine for this uh, this type of these type of videos so Oh, I'm surprised that one hasn't actually booted up all the way. First generation tone is catching up again. Ah, there you go. So on this tone we do need to make sure that it's connected to the internet. And that's just about it. Well, not actually to the internet, just to your home network. So it has booted up and we need to go to the settings. Now this is a little bit of an awkward angle for me, so... And of course the tone is very unresponsive, that's why I got the second generation tone. And then I think it's under internet. We click, need to click the tone data export button. So then press create copy and it will create a copy and everything should be fine in a couple of minutes. So whilst this is waiting I suggest that we take a look at what we need to do on the computer. So on the computer we need to install a program called Tone Convert. Now this is a, a, a wrapper of a Python utility. Uh, I've already installed it. So let's open the program right now. And, but first let's download the data from the old tone. So go to the IP address of your old tone. Oops, I made a little mistake. Slash export dot zip. And we should have a file getting downloaded for us. Now we need to extract these to a location so I'll just do the desktop tone export we also need to extract the zip files that are in uh, the zip files so we need to extract this as well to their folders so we've got these files so let's close ahead of no let's close let's go back to the a tone convert program now copy the path and then type in the IP address of your new tone now of course 
need to check this on your local network. Mine is this. Then press uh, fetch files from the chosen folder. And I think something went wrong because file list slash no export usage. Yeah, there you go. So you need to enter a backslash. So this will take a while. As the program says, this will take uh, approximately one to two hours. Uh, and we just need to leave the tone alone until this finishes. So click start import and it will go through the import process. Um, we need to do this for every uh, directory that's in the main export directory. So we've got a usage, a thermostat and a usage water uh, folder and we all need to uh, pick those and copy them over to the new tone. So let's just uh, wait until this has finished. So as we're able to see everything got imported so we can just press OK and I assume that we should restart the new tone and all the data should be there. So let's switch back to the tone. So the import process has completed. So I assume that we should uh, restart the tone now in order to um, get everything to apply properly. So restart tone. So now we'll just wait until it has been restarted. And we should see data pop up if we open the graphs. Indeed, this process took quite a lot of time. I think an hour or two is well, about right. So, uh, and you should leave your tone untouched during that time. So can of course use your computer but make sure not to cancel the process or you know things might not go uh, that well worst case you'll need to reset your tone back to factory settings and then uh, you should also reroute your tone and so just be careful uh, with what you do at your computer so well, the tone has almost booted up well last phase of the boot process is quite slow as we just witnessed so let's wait until this is uh, let's wait until this has booted up so there we go so now if we open there you go so all the graphs are there thank you guys for watching this should be it well if I can't see the graphs of the solar power and the gas usage. I'll edit this video to uh, add the required steps for you to actually see them. So that's the whole data set is there. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you find this video useful. If you do, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And of course sharing with other Tone2 users. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.